This is the day that you predestined, Lord. When he was still in the womb of the mother, you called him to be a prophet, an apostle, a pastor, and an evangelist, and also the teacher of the world. All these five ministries, you have put them in him. So wherever he goes, where there is a poverty, he will preach the gospel. To be an evangelist, where there are no evangelists, to be a pastor, where there are no pastors, and to teach, where there are no teachers, to prophesy, on the dry bones. <laughs> to lead your work as an apostle you have called as a bond servant of Jesus Christ as a bond servant of Christ and your anointing oil Lord the oil of the an apostle you pour it on him right now. use him mightily to do great things that he may also scare off the spirit of the devil that he may also make the devil tremble heaven to rejoice Heaven to laugh. Ooh, we yes. praise Lord Jesus. This special day. This great day. This your own day. Let the gates be open. Let the gates be open. Make him go to places you have never gotten him. And make him a very spear arrow of fire. And make him go around the world. And to also plant your kingdom. Let him go on planting your kingdom in the countries full of darkness. And also strengthen those who are backslidden. And also support those who are weak. And also to preach those who had fallen. And also to arise those who are down. And also I utter the power, the power of all kinds, the power of heaven, the power of the Holy Spirit, the light in heaven should fill his life and also should be a light to the world of darkness. He should become a light in the world of darkness. In the name of Jesus, turn his history God at this moment. His life change it Lord that he should not be the same person. Let the double anointing should flow upon him or being a pastor and also an apostle should flow on him. Use him mightily. Use him to do great things. Use him to do great things. Use him to do great things. Use him greatly. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. In this evening, we pour out the anointing of being an apostolic anointing. An apostolic anointing. An apostolic anointing. The oil of an apostle. It should flow on him. It came down to the head of everyone. It came down into his ears. And it came to the ends of his life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him heal the sick. Let him cast out the evil. Let him resurrect the dead. Let him bring down the rain. Let him rule the sphere. Let him go through the Jordan. Let him do great things. All his weaknesses should turn into his power and strength. Use him, Lord. Use him, Lord. Use him, Lord. Use him, Lord. The Spirit of God is upon you. He has anointed you with oil that you may preach to the poor that the blind can see and those who are lame to walk again and those who are so wrecked in life to again be healed and the ones who are bound to be unbound and also tell to the people of the good year of the mercy of God until when the Lord Jesus comes back Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah
Shima Yesu. We praise Lord Jesus. Amavuta asani zahabu himyela yo amute mjeho. Amavuta asani zahabu himyela yo amute mjeho. Kikiti hafi yumu gezi Ni kumutima we umerewe No mubusa za bwiwa za gunya Kukira makaka mani toto As one of the bishops, and also a pastor, I would also like us to clothe him as a symbol of being an apostle. This is a chain, a chain as a symbol that you are a bond servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I would also like to bring the white effort that we should put on him. God told Moses that put the white garment on Aaron he should fill his chest and come down into his feet. And then he said, And also put a belt around his waist, which is a sign of the truth. Preach the truth. Never go aside it. And also put another garment of white on him. Oh, 
Umwambaro umweru ni gishura cyo gukiranuka uzakiranuke mu byuvuga mu byukora byose mu murimo w'Imana uhawe This white mantle is a sign of righteousness be righteous and upright in whatever you do Hanyuma azahabwa icubahiro kwa korera Imana He will be honored as a servant of God Whoever serves me should carry their cross and follow me. Zana imbeta. Give us the ring. Today, you are joined together with the church, Calvary, and also the body of Christ. This is a of being. This is the ring of being a bishop and an apostle. This is to which the figure to which we put on the marriage ring of a husband and wife. They are also in matrimony with the Calvary and also the body of Christ. And you are given the staff of authority. This staff, it has two among it. It is a staff that brings back those who which went far, you bring them closer. Those who are tired and also backslidden. Always bring them back with goodness because you are a shepherd. And once the great shepherd comes, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, he's going to give you the crown of righteousness. This stuff, you will use it to always cater up for the flock. And once you use it, you are fighting the enemy. If you use its head, you are bringing back those which backslid. That is the responsibility and duty God is giving you. Hallelujah! 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 Christophe. Christophe. You are no longer the ordinary Christophe, we know. But you are Apostle Christophe Sebagabo. Whatever we have spoken here, it is in this book, the Bible. There is indeed the, the word of life in this book. The gift. This book here has the words of internal life. 
take it for you to guide and declare them to the world. Keep watch over the whole flock in which the Spirit has appointed you as a shepherd. Encourage the faithful and those restore the lost. Build the body of Christ and let it be deep well let it be deep well from which you and those you serve draw the water of life. We have two certificates. The first certificate is the certificate to be ordained as a senior pastor. And the second certificate is a certificate to show that you will be ordained as an apostle. 